Hello, welcome to Yoga Fit. Um, we are going to start down on our mat this evening. So we're going to just start in a kneeling position with the knees facing the end of your mat. And have your legs touching, but just, you know, hip width apart. You don't want to be coming any wider or at any angle. These knees need to be facing down towards the end of the mat. Just resting on the tops of the feet, letting the toes uh, rest out behind you. You are, if you're stiff in your ankles or you find that you have knee issues when you're in this position, then feel free to grab a block and just sit on the block, whatever height you want it to be. That just takes a little bit of the weight out of the feet and the knees, but you still get that nice quad stretch at the front of the legs. So, there we go. So we're gonna just start in this kneeling position here. Taking a deep inhale, lift the breastbone as you do so, let the shoulders sink. Exhale, nice and slow, nice deep breath out. And again, deep breath in. And exhale, let the shoulder girdle sink as you breathe out. So continue to breathe nice and easily, nice and relaxed. We're just gonna take our focus to our pelvis, making sure that the pelvis is tucked under just enough so that the tailbone points down towards the ground. You don't want the tailbone pointing forward um, in front of you or behind you. You want it nice and centered, nice and um, rounded. So another deep breath in here. Exhale out through the mouth. We're going to take another deep breath in and as you do, you're going to lift your shoulder girdle all the way up as high as you can to your ears. And as you breathe out, roll your shoulder blades down your rib cage at the back behind you and open those palms out to front. Be careful that the pelvis hasn't tilted as you've done that. Again, another deep breath in, raise those shoulders up as high as you can. As you breathe out, slide them further back. Keeping that pelvis nice and neutral, arms or hands facing forward. Take a deep breath in here, reaching tall, gazing up between your hands or out straight ahead, whatever feels more comfortable. Reach it up, lengthen through both side waists. Try to have the biceps alongside the ears, keeping those scapulas back and retracted. Another deep breath in as you breathe out, reach that right arm forward, left hand back and lift the breastbone up nice and high. Twist it as far as you can and then exhale, float this left hand to the ground, reach the right arm up. And if it's available to you, you can come down onto that left elbow, flare the right rib cage up towards the sky. Try to keep both knees grounded here. Deep breath in, push all the way back up, reach to lengthen out. As you breathe out, you're gonna twist the other way. So that left hand forward, right hand back, really open up and twist through the spine, lifting that breastbone. Exhale, the hand down to the back of the mat, reach tall. And again, if it's available to you, you can come down onto the elbow, flaring the left rib cage up towards the ceiling. Deep breath in, press up and bring those arms back to reach. Exhale, hands to the heart. So from this kneeling position, we're going to come onto all fours, taking the hands out in front of us, bring the knees underneath the hips, make sure that those shoulders are above the wrists so that your wrists are pulled back far enough. Go ahead, give those feet a big circle, or the ankles I should say, a big circle one way and then the other. Let that blood flow back into the feet. And then just point the toes and flex the toes as far as you can. Really exaggerate the movement, drawing the navel up to the spine. All right, and then coming back to rest on all fours, you're going to take these fingers and face them in towards one another so that the heel of the hand is facing the edge of the mat. 
start to rock side to side so that your body weight stretches through the forearm. Just warming up these muscles, drawing the navel up to the spine. So side to side, get your body weight forward. Try not to sit back in the, in the hips here. You want the body weight forward over the arms as much as you can tolerate. And we're going to go one more each way and then come back into center. So with your fingers facing the end of your mat again, spread the hands nice and wide, drawing the navel up to the spine. You can flip your toes at the back to help stabilize if you want to. And you can start to just lift the heel of the hand off the floor and lower, lift and lower and be careful you don't start to throw your body weight or use momentum here this has to be the muscles of the hands working so just lifting the heel keeping the fingers grounded we're going to do the fingers on the next round and three more lift the, he the heel of the hand lift and one more and shake out the wrists we're going to do the same again, but this time we're going to push up all the way to the fingertips. So when you're ready, we're going to lift the heel into the fingers and then lower. Lift into the fingers and then lower. Lift into the fingers and lower. Lift up and lower. Lift up and lower. Three more here. And taking those hands down, come ahead, go ahead and kneel back on your heels. But this time before you go all the way back, flip your toes so that you're giving your sole of your foot, the arch of your foot and the toes themselves a nice big stretch. So try to get your toes nice and even, each toe, even if that baby toe is tucked under, just reach back and pull it. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders over hips, palms facing the ceiling, sitting that weight back into the heels. We're going to go ahead, clasp the hands, keep the palms together and just start to circle the hands as if they were one and then change directions. And there's kind of really no way to describe this. The best thing is just to do it and it will just happen naturally, just circling the wrists and then you're gonna change direction, which is kind of a mind bend. <laughs> All right, it's best not to think about it, just kind of do it. And the other way. And shake it out. I'm trying to include a little bit more wrist strengthening and wrist health into my classes, because I know a lot of um, people uh, complain about pain in the wrists and they can't hold poses because that's kind of holding them back. So uh, my goal is to try and get some more health and strength into these muscles. All right, we're going to stay here for three more breaths. If you can, lean that weight back as far as you can. Feel that deep stretch all the way through the sole of the foot. And exhale, come forward onto all fours. Go ahead, flatten out those feet and you can circle them or shake them, whatever feels good right now to do with your feet, get that blood flow flushing back into the toes, click, click, clunk, clunk, <laughs> good, okay, so we're going to come back here to all fours, spread the hands nice and wide, flip the toes and lift the hips back and up, keep the knees bent to start with and we're going to just let the chest sink in towards the thighs as much as possible. Reaching and grounding evenly through the thumb and each finger. Let go of your head and your neck muscles. You can nod up and down. Give a little shake. Nice deep breaths in and out. Start to pedal the legs here, bringing one heel down and then the other. And just swap them out every time. So stepping and sinking, you don't have to get your heel completely to the ground, but just that's the goal as we're pedaling the legs here. 
keeping that chest in that nice low sunken position. Sinking back into the heels, bend the knees if you need to. It's better that you get this nice flexibility in the spine. Don't let the hamstrings prevent you from achieving that. Take a nice deep breath in, draw the navel up to the spine. We're going to lift the chin, bend the knees, look ahead of us. And we're going to just step with our heels grounded all the way through to a flat back position. Hands to the shins, looking forward, pressing your heart forward. Roll the weight through the big toe as well as the baby toe and roll a little further forward into the ball of the foot. Deep breath in here, bring that length, exhale, bend the knees, bring your chest to your thighs, hands at the back of the heels, let the head hang. Inhale, hands to the shins, flat back, pressing that heart forward, looking forward, pulling the shoulder blades back. Roll that body weight through the balls of the feet. Deep inhale, bring length to the back of the body. Exhale, bend the knees, grab a hold of the ankles. Let the spine fold over, stretching through the lower back. And as you straighten your legs this time, try to keep your chest as much in contact with your thighs as you can. And then inhale to flat back, sink the heart. Lengthen and then exhale, fold, bend the knees, get the chest on the thighs, it's a slight bend, just so you can get your tummy and your chest resting on the thighs. Letting the head just hang loose here. And inhale, we're going to try to straighten the legs and keep the chest as much in contact with the thighs as possible. Before we inhale, slide the hands up the shin, draw the navel up and under, pressing the heart forward. Bending the knees, palming the hands, we're going to step the feet back into a plank and go through our first vinyasa. So make sure the eye of the elbow is facing forward, energy is leaving through the heels, engage the tummy muscles. Shift your body weight forward and drop the knees if you're going to use them here, but keep the hips low. Slowly exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift the thighs away if you can. Lifting that heart up and through. Deep breath in, rounding back into the toes, back to plank. Again, you can do a chaturanga here and then come back to down dog. If you want to miss the second chaturanga, chaturanga, chaturanga <laughs> you can go straight back into that down dog and meet us there. As soon as you land, start to pedal, heel to mat alternating that's the goal you don't have to get contact with the mat if you can't you're just lengthening through the back of the legs gently encouraging sinking into your down dog resting either with bent knees or straight legs don't compromise that nice um, dip in the sternum here if you find when you straighten your legs, your upper back rounds out, then keep your knees bent. Deep breath in here. We're gonna take the left elbow down to the ground, reach the right hand forward. Inhale, the right leg up, open the hips out to the side, pressing back into that left foot. Stretching through the front of the hip. We're going to really try to stack the pelvis now. Straighten the leg and let the weight of that leg pull down and stretch that outer fascia. Deep breath in here. 
Inhale, twist it back round and come back to a full down dog. Same on the other side. So sinking down as deep as you can into your down dog. Bring that right elbow down, left hand reaches. Inhale, left leg up. Open the hip out to the side. Grounding as much as you can through this right heel. Stacking the hips. Go ahead, straighten that top leg out. Let the weight of that limb stretch through the side hip. And exhale, come back through to down dog. Pedal out. And we're gonna just start to walk the hands back into a forward fold. Hug opposite elbows and let the head hang. Keep the knees slightly bent. Slowly release the hands. We're gonna just, uh, I'm just gonna take my socks off and you're just gonna stay in a forward fold. <laughs> and we're keeping those feet hip width apart. Remember, you wanna make sure you're rolling the weight through the ball, uh, ball of the foot and the ball of the big toe. So in this forward fold, whether your knees are bent or straight, you're gonna heel toe your feet out and bring them to a 45 degree angle. So they're facing the opposite corners of the room. We're going to start to sink down in the hips. Keep your heels grounded here and lift your chest into your nice low yogic squat or malasana. You're going to push the elbows into the inner knee or inner thigh. Just gently, you're not forcing your legs apart, you're just encouraging that position, keeping the hips nice and low. Now, if you really do struggle here to keep your heels down, come up onto the balls of the feet and balance in here. If you want, you can bring one hand forward to help you balance and reach back with the other, just to try to push into that opposite uh, inner thigh, and then you can swap. So if you'd rather do that, if you don't quite have that balance or that flexibility in the ankles, then those options are available as well. <sighs> Lifting the heart, gazing up towards the ceiling, pushing the chin forward. Deep exhale. As you do, you're going to bow the head and pull the chin back into the chest. So bringing those fingertips to the front of the mat in front of you, you're gonna just start to sway from side to side and you can lift into one ball of the foot, stretching in the toes and then come across to the other side. Opening out these hips, swaying from side to side, up onto the ball of the foot. Now what, see how that feels without your hands on the ground. You're gonna bring your hands either to your hips or to your heart. And now if you can, try to reach your arms up above your head, biceps alongside the ears. Keep going here for three, two, last one. Come back into the center, land in the ankles and the heels and push all the way back up to a forward fold. Heel toe the feet back so they're hip width apart, then the knees, fold the head. If you can, straighten the legs if it feels comfortable and it doesn't compromise any stretch in the lower back. Roll your body weight through the big toes. Deep breath in, come to a flat back hand, slide up the shins, press your heart forward. Go ahead, walk your hands back out to down dog. Pedal the legs. Sink the heart. 
Deep breath in, left elbow down, reach the right arm, take that right leg up, open it out. Stacking the hips, we're going to take a deep breath in here. As you breathe out, I want you to move forward with this right knee towards the opposite elbow. Open it back out. Exhale, move forward to the opposite side. Open back out. One more. Moving across the body. Keep the knee high to the abs. Open out. This time, push up onto your hands and step this foot to the outside edge of the mat. Come uh, back into this back leg, wiggle it back as far as you can, pressing into the toes, line the fingers of the hands up with the toes of the front foot. Now sink the hips, press and lift the chest, press the chest forward, sink the hips. Slightly angle your right foot out to 45 degrees. Take your right hand on the inside of your right knee and open out through the chest, lifting and pressing gently into that knee. The knee is pressing away. You can roll if you want to onto the outer edge of that right foot. Keep sinking in the back hip here. Try not to be lifted. Inhale, come back up and we're just going to bring the hands either side of this front foot. This front foot is still at that 45 degree angle, sinking back into this hip flexor at the back. And then as you exhale, I want you to straighten the front leg, lift the toes again, sink. Now, if that is not available to you, keep that back knee down and do the exact same thing, but stay on the back knee. So if it's way too intense off of the ground, then you can keep that knee grounded. We're trying really hard not to round the spine. Keep that spine straight by pressing your heart forward and looking ahead of you. Sink as low as you can and then press it back. And don't worry if you're not completely straightening that front leg. Especially if you have long legs, you might find that super hard. So just as long as you feel a stretch in the hamstrings, then you're getting a good uh, result. Sink into that back hip flexor, low, low, low. Again, one more time, pull it back. Sink down. All right, bring those hands back, rotate the foot back to face forward, and we're gonna step it back to a down dog. Pedal the legs, come back to plank and move through a vinyasa with or without the knees, chaturanga, inhale up dog. Back to a plank, chaturanga, pull it back, down dog, pedal the legs, you can bend them here if you would like to get more of that stretch in the shoulders, which I recommend. You're starting to feel looser in the hamstrings as we stretch them out here. We're stretching out the hips. So you might find that you get a little bit lower in the heels. <sighs> Taking that right elbow down, left hand forward. Inhale, left leg up and out. <sighs> feel that stretch. Deep breath in, exhale. This knee's coming across to touch the right bicep and open out across to touch the right bicep open out and across to touch open it out and this time we're going to come all the way forward outside this left hand to the edge of your mat hands line up with the toes of the front foot wiggle that back leg back as far as you can stay up on those flex toes Sink the hips. Sink as low as you can. You can start to rotate this front foot out towards this 45 degree angle position. Now here, if you prefer, you can ground the back knee or you can start to lift this left hand onto the inside 
of that left knee. You can roll onto the outside edge of the knee and open that chest out towards the ceiling. Sinking in the hips. Exhale, bring your hands back and you're going to take these hands either side of this diagonal front foot. Again, you can ground this back knee if you prefer, stay up on the back toes and you can sink and straighten, sink and straighten. By When you straighten back onto the heel, you flex the big toe in towards the shin. If you want to go a little bit deeper with this stretch, sink into the hip flexor at the back. Nice deep stretch as you're lunging forward, then pull it back, stretch it out. Try not to round the spine <sighs> by pressing the heart forward, keeping your gaze ahead of you. Sink, press it back, sink, press it back, flexing the foot as you do. And we've got three more here, as low as you can in the hips. Pull it back. Sink. Pull it back. Last one here, sink. Pull it back. Come back down onto the knee if you're not already. You're going to heel that foot back into face forward. Palm the hands and come on back to a down dog. Pedal the legs. and move forward to plank. So chaturanga, hover, inhale, up dog. Press into the tops of the feet, float the thighs away from the mat. Deep inhale, come back, exhale, chaturanga, or straight to down dog. You choose there, pedal it out. Sink the heart. Coming down into child's pose for a brief rest in those hips and heels and knees. Send your hips as far back as you can into the heels. Reach the arms forward and just take a rest here. Nice deep breath in. And exhale nice and slow. Press up onto the fingertips to make a little cave with your hands. Reach them forward as far as you can and then walk over to the left. Grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand and feel that stretch all the way through the right rib cage, the right hip. Inhale, and then as you exhale, reach it all the way around the other way. Take a hold of your right wrist with your left hand, keeping your chest and tummy in contact with that thigh, pressing your left hips back into the heel. Feel that nice deep stretch through the back of the ribs. Exhale, come forward. So we're moving forward into a dolphin position. So elbows are hip, uh, hip, shoulder width apart. You can interlace the fingers or you can lay the hands flat. Make sure that the you flip the toes and you're pushing those hips up and back. So sit bones are pressing upwards towards the sky. Walk the feet in a little further. Draw the navel up to the spine. Lift your chin and now gaze down at your thumbs. Flatten those hands out if they're not already. We're just gonna give a little hop into the left foot and raise that right leg up. So it's a little hop and lower and lower. And two more. And one last one, come on down, pedal. 
we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side hopping into that right foot lift your chin that is key lifting the chin and look at your hands all right here we go one two three four and five challenge yourself try to come into some balance if you can pedal the legs come on down child's pose reach Moving forward again to your plank position. Interlace your fingers, elbows down and shoulder width apart. Imagine you're holding a block between your elbows. Flatten the palms onto the ground. So we're gonna stay in this plank position. You can drop your knees if you want to here, if you're finding it very challenging but it is a very challenging pose. Take a deep inhale. As you breathe out, you're gonna bring your chin forward. Press back into the heels. Exhale, bring your chin forward. Press back to the heels. Exhale, chin forward. Press back. Chin forward. Heels, two more times. Engage those abs, stay in a nice low plank, and back. Last one, and into the heels. Come back into child's pose, stretch it out. One final deep inhale. Then exhale, push to down dog. Pedal the legs. As low as you can in your down dog, making sure that spine stays nice and straight and long. If you find that as soon as you straighten your legs, you lose that nice deep spine, then just work slowly with it. Be patient. Draw the belly up and under. Let go of the head and the neck. Come down onto your knees. Keep the feet or the toes flexed out behind you. So you're stretching in those toes. Bring your hands into your chest and your breastbone. And bring this right leg forward. Stay seated into those back toes, keeping the heel grounded. You're going to step through and do the exact same thing on the other side. And then come into that crouch position. You're going to heel toe the feet out into your yogic squat. Bring the hands down in front of you. Make sure the elbows are inside at the top of the knees. Spread the hands nice and wide, engaging those tummy muscles. Tip your body weight forward. If you feel like you want to take one foot off the ground and then the other, come into an arm balance. Slowly come back down, bring the heels to the ground and press all the way up to stand, reaching tall. Step into the front of the mat, toes facing forward, root down evenly through the base, tuck your pelvis, palms face front. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees. Step that left leg back behind you, heel toe, so that your feet are uh, hip width apart. Both feet are facing forward. Make sure this back leg is straight and pushing down into the heel. Inhale, lift up to a high lunge. Sink your weight through your front heel. 
stretching through the back thigh. Make sure that you need, if you need to, you can wiggle that foot back and try to keep this back leg as straight as possible. Imagine your kneecap, pull it up with the weight, uh, with the muscles at the top of the thigh. Pull that kneecap up the leg. Straighten it out. Press your energy down into the heel. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold the left hand down in front of you and line the fingers up with the toes. Reach up. Keep pressing your energy back out through that back heel. The weight is through the front heel. Slowly, with balance, come all the way up into a revolved uh, lunge. Lift the heart. Looking somewhere between the back of the room and the side of the room. Stay low in the front heel. Straightening that back leg. Exhale, float the hand back, stack the shoulders. One more time, inhale up to balance. Lift the breastbone, pull those shoulders back. The weight is through this front heel, you're pressing through this back heel, straightening and stretching. Exhale, float the hands, come on back to plank. Chaturanga here, inhale, up dog. Plank, Chaturanga again if you want to, meet me in down dog. Pedal. Come to the knees, feet are flexed or toes are flexed. Pressing into that top heel, sinking the weight back into those back toes. Step through, keep the heel grounded. I think it's so easy to lift that heel. I may have done that on the last round. <laughs> and then you're gonna come through and then come back into that yogic squat. So heel toe, those feet into your angles or your 45 degree, you can push <clears throat> inside the knee, lift the chest. Slowly press up, heel toe the feet in. Deep inhale, exhale fold. Inhale, slide it up, press the heart forward. Exhale, bend the knees. Stepping this right leg back. Push the weight into the right heel, straighten that leg. Sink in the hips, heel toe this left foot out so your hip width in your base. Get ready to push up to a high lunge. Feel that deep stretch in that back hip flexor. Keep that tailbone pointing down. Nice deep stretch. Now really focus on lifting that back knee, pulling the quads up and straightening that leg even more. Pressing the weight into that right heel. Feel that stretch all the way through the back of the leg. Also deep into the hip flexors and the quads. Exhale, float your right hand down, line the fingers and toes up. Reach up. Go ahead, focus your mind back onto the back leg. Straighten it out. It's another one that easily bends without you noticing. So really focusing on pushing the weight into the heel, stretching it out, get ready to balance and come up to that revolve lunge. Looking somewhere behind you or out to the side. Stay lifted in the sternum, relaxed in the shoulders. Exhale, float your hand down, open it out. Press back into that back heel, straighten the leg back out because no doubt it's bent a little bit. Sink the hips even lower, prepare to come up in that balance. Stay low in the front heel. Keep breathing and reaching away from you. Two more breaths. And exhale, floating the hands down, stepping back to a plank. 
Chaturanga, elbows tuck to the body. Inhale, up dog. Come on back. Chaturanga, lift back and pedal. Draw the navel to the spine. Sink the chest, let the head dangle. You can keep these knees bent if you prefer here in down dog. It's a new rule of mine since becoming a massage therapist. <laughs> or you can just continuously pedal if you prefer. Deep inhale here, exhale all the way down to all fours. Sit back, flip the toes and sit back on these feet. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, reach and twist. Let that left hand float to the ground. Come to the elbow if it's available. Try it again, see what it's like now. You're nice and warm. You might not have been able to do it at the beginning. You might surprise yourself how much flexibility you've created here, flaring that right rib cage up into the sky. Inhale, push up, reach tall. Exhale, twist it out. Float the right hand down, reach up, lower the elbow. Again, reach, give it a try. Push the hips and the rib cage up towards the ceiling. Inhale, come back up nice and tall. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bowing that head forward and pulling the chin back into the chest, lifting through the jaw. Exhale, float your hands down in front of you, flip your toes, push up with those hips and walk the hands into a forward fold. You can hug the knees here, Roll the body weight forward through the balls of the feet. Bending the knees, pushing through the base and reach tall. Exhale, hands down to the heart. Give yourselves a clap. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed that new slower pace. Um, don't worry, that's not staying around all the classes, but I thought, it. Well, I did. I did it anyway, so you guys got it too, because I figured you're probably in the same boat. So anyway, take care, and I will see you again at HIT. Bye-bye.